world to save sinners. So who did he come from? Christ came into the world to save sinners. Who's that? All have sinned. That's everybody. You have a need for Jesus Christ because you are and I am sinners. Let me give you an example of some sins. How well did you treat your parents? And yet the Bible says, honor thy mother and father. I don't care how your parents were. They're still your parents. And if you did not honor them, that's a sin. Have you taken a pen that did not belong to you? That's theft. That's stealing. And the Bible says, thou shalt not steal. You're a sinner. Have you ever told a lie? Once? You're a sinner. Hi, boss. I don't feel good today. I'm calling out. And you were perfectly fine. That's a lie. That's a sinner. All have sinned. Christ came into the world to save sinners. All have sinned. All. That's you. And the Bible says that if you say, and I met, I met a guy yesterday, I never sin. You make God a liar. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. The Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. I didn't say believe in Buddha. That guy couldn't even get on a weight loss program. I didn't say believe in Allah. Allah don't know nothing. And it's sure not Mary, because the Bible says there's one mediator between God and man. The man, the man, Christ Jesus. Mary don't fit. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And when Jesus said, I am the way, there is no other way. And you say, preacher, I'm an atheist. And the Bible says the fool has said in his heart that there's no God. And the Bible also says, prepare to meet that God. And you better meet God through Jesus and nothing else. Now be careful because the Bible says that there's another Jesus. There's another spirit. And there's another gospel. And the biblical gospel that we're to proclaim to all the world is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Prepare to meet thy God. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. That's it. Salvation is free and simple. Religion makes it hard. You gotta do this, you gotta do that, you gotta be this, you gotta be that, you gotta reach this thing. That's not salvation. Salvation is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. Is that how that works? For grace, for by grace are we saved through faith and not of ourselves. It's a gift of God. Would you reject a free gift? And yet you reject Jesus. And Jesus is a free gift of God. You'll be foolish. You are foolish. To die and go into hell when you have heard that Jesus saves. And only Jesus saves. 